I gotta tell you, not sure if it's because I'm doing so much these days with my hands or what, but I'm kind of over my oval nails. I know, I'm kind of bummed too. I've been wearing oval since I've discovered oval back in like 2010. So yeah, to say that it's a change, uh, it's quite a change actually. <laughs> I thought about short ovals, but I don't know and I certainly don't do square. So round it is. Now round nails are probably the hardest shape to obtain uniformity across all 10 fingers. When we're filing, it's like we have that one that looks perfectly round and we're like, we want all of them to look like this. And another that's a different kind of round, but it still looks round. And then before we know it, we start getting a little bit in sync. And when we're done, somehow eight out of the 10 nails are still doing their own shape of round. So I thought it would be super helpful to create a tutorial on how to shape short nails round easily. Let's get into the studio and start shaping natural nails around. Hey there and welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Paola of paolaponsanails.com, your source for all things premium soft gels and entrepreneurship in the nail industry. If this sounds like a niche you'd like to continue growing in, then at the end of this video, do consider subscribing to this channel and our weekly newsletter. Let's begin. Now to shape any nail, um, whether it's an enhancement or a natural nail, I recommend two types of files. So here I have an emery board and an emery board is a board or a file that has flexibility to it like so. See, it's quite flexible. So an emery board, even though it's this long, is not actually good for tapering up the sidewalls when you're working on enhancements because this emery board bends. And so the more pressure you apply to it like this, as you're filing, then you're going to end up with like a groove or a rounded edge here versus a straight one. So for that reason, we recommend a board file and a board file is one that it's, yeah, you can see it's a little bit bendy, but it's much more firm. And this is going to allow you to file and have a straight edge of whatever shape you're trying to file, especially like a coffin nail, like one of those ballerina nails, you wouldn't shape with an emery board because you have to apply a lot of pressure to the side to file it very straight and this board bends too much. That may also be the case with your square nail. Maybe if you were trying to file the edges, again, it can bend and this flexibility is not gonna give you a straight edge and then you're gonna start carving into the nail that way. So board file is great for enhancements. Today I'm wearing a overlay and this color here is from the new Nail Thoughts collection. It's called Sweet Tea. So I just thought it'd be great to wear this base and show you what shaping round nails can look like. So yes, they have a little bit of product, but the idea here is that you are also working on your natural nails and you still wanna be gentle, okay? So this is what you're gonna be learning today, how to shape your natural nails round, your short nails round. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my board file. Step one is shortening the nails straight like this. Make sure that they match the line of your cuticle area there, nice and straight. And you'll notice you would have also increased its thickness. And that's totally okay. Now it is time to flip your board file with a little bit of an angle. So not completely flat like this, more like this. If you're doing it on yourself, you'll find yourself moving your finger. If you are doing it on a client, you're gonna find that you're actually moving the file a bit more, okay? So we wanna take these, this, our board file down to the side walls there, to the points there. Okay. Once it's nice and even, you can check this way, make sure that not one area is hanging too low of the curvature. Mm -hmm. Now it is time to simply shape this nail. So now you know that this side is even, this side is even. Notice I haven't even like, you know, going, gone into the side walls or nothing else. All I've done is shorten it, right? By having it perpendicular to the nail, like so. 
And I've also taken it a little bit at an angle underneath the nail to flush the side walls straight. Make sure that the curvature of the nail it's not hanging too low on either side. It's nice and even. And after that, it's time to gauge and analyze it using what I like to call the points of the cuticle area. And the points of the cuticle area are basically right here, so the corners. And I wanna keep my shape within the corners of my cuticle right there. Okay, obviously they're not perfect corners, your cuticle area is more rounded, but just trying to find, try to find the corners of the cuticle area of your nail. And you wanna keep the width of your shape no wider than the corners of your cuticle area. So I'm pretty much there. I really don't want to destroy what I've done here. If you're enjoying this tutorial, would you do me a favor and give it a thumbs up? I'd be so thankful. And if you wanna learn how to shape four other very popular shapes, I created a mini course for you. You can check it out with a link in the description box below. Back to the video. So I wanna go ahead and do, just straighten it out a little bit. So you're kind of squaring it off at this point, just a little bit. There's a little bit of angle on my board file. Once it's nice and even, this side wall looks even to this side wall there of the free edge. It's nice and straight, it matches, it's parallel here with my cuticle area. Now it's time to soften so that we can round off the nails. And you decide how round you want these. If you're like, what does round actually look like? It looks a little bit more like a half circle. If you want them not so round, then you're probably gonna be around like a squabble shape. And if you want them more pointy, then you're gonna be doing more of an oval shape. Very pointy, that's considered an almond, okay? Okay, so that right there looks round to me. And now I'm going to proceed and do this round shape on the rest of my nails. At this point, I'm gonna look at the nails, 
here from the client's view. So the client's view is usually you looking, the client looking at this side of the nails. And I'm going to adjust where I need to with my board file, though I'm pretty happy with everything. So client's view, everything looks nice and even where it's supposed to be. So now I'm gonna go to the technician's view or the DIY view, and I'm gonna take my emery board, and this is another reason why an emery board is so helpful. And I'm just going to clean up the edges ever so gently. I don't know if you noticed, but when I was shaping the free edge, I was really letting the file do the work for me. Just letting it glide on there, it do its thing, and then now I'm gonna come and help it and with my emery board. If there's any significant reshaping that you need to do before you move on to your emery board, go ahead and grab that board file and do it right now. Do not start reshaping with your emery board because you'll notice it will not be as crisp as if you do it ever so gently with your board file. Now the grit that we are working to shape or reshape really the nails is a 180. This is going to keep your nails safe from splitting or causing too much damage at the free edge, which would be that splitting. Okay, so I wanna go a little bit narrow on my round. So as long as your round is within the corners of the nail, it's still round, okay? It's just a matter of how wide do you want those nails to be. So I want them to be a little bit more narrow, just ever so gently, so I'm carefully letting the file just do the reshaping for me. It's got the grit and sturdiness to do so. All right, once I'm happy, again, any major reshaping happens with my board file. I'm gonna come in with my emery board and just tie it all up ever so gently. So sidewall goes in straight and then just slightly curve there at the free edge. Sidewall goes there straight and slightly curve into the free edge. I promise you that if you just let your files do the work, you'll be so happy with your shaping and you'll notice such an improvement. Never dig your file in here really, really hard because you will cause, cause detachment of the nail plate from the nail bed. So just ever so gently get in here. The emery board's thinness allows you to get in here without causing damage. Very gentle, tying it all up. All right, time to reveal, time to clean it up a little bit. Okay, and here we are. Remember, getting uniform round nails has to do a lot with using a board file versus a flimsy emery board. It also helps to envision half circles on the end of your free edge. Once you have a good board file, I'll link you to my favorites down below, by the way, move uniformly throughout each nail. It is okay to taper ever so gently with your emery board, but only after your board file has done most of the work for you promise. All the goodies are always down in the description box below. Thank you again and see you next week. Bye for now.